white tank top that says Santa Monica, Los Angeles, and it has like the Ferris wheel, and and here they are. Take a moment. A lot of upcoming videos in March, which is in a week. Yeah, I, I was like, oh my gosh, it's like it read my mind. It was only like thirty, and is this people to see or places to go and people to see, and the pictures in here are phenomenal. I mean, obviously they're not a Rice Krispie tree. But, hey everybody, so today I'm going to be doing a haul, and I have to go really fast because this might take a while, because I've been collecting stuff since before December, or no, the beginning of December, some of it actually before, but it's not Christmas stuff, it's just before December, after, and recently, and I really have to do this fast because the last time I tried to film it just a second ago, I took like 20 minutes and only got through like a quarter of stuff because I kept blabbering on about everything. Oh, and little disclaimer, I'm in no way, shape, or form trying to brag. You guys know the gist. Not trying to brag. Why? Like, why would I brag about the stuff I bought? Because trust me, I'm not that cool to brag about my stuff. But without further ado, let's get started. Okay, the first category is makeup. I have two things from the makeup category. The first one is the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express Mascara. And I accidentally bought this in brownish black. But I am personally loving it in brownish black. I bought it yesterday, so I don't quite have a review on it. Although, as of today, I really, really like it. And it was a two for five deal at Target. So I do have another one. And it is the Colosso Volume Express from Maybelline in Glam Black. And I've never tried this, but I've heard things about it. So I'm very, 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 very curious to try it and see if I like it. Okay, let's get on to clothing. And the first thing I picked up was this white tank top that says Santa Monica, Los Angeles. And it has like the Ferris wheel and palm tree. And when I saw this at Ross, I, I imagine it with jean shorts and summertime. I, 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 I had to. I had to even just take a moment right there. Yeah. The next thing I got was a shirt from like start line jump in some tennis shoe place my brother had to go to but I found this like t-shirt there that I really liked and it says you dub football even though I don't really love football not gonna lie and then from Target I picked up a skater dress just a black one because I figured it would go with everything and I'm so so excited to wear this and a couple of weeks ago I picked up this dress from Rue 21 for $10 instead of $21.99 and it is just this like corally peachish pink one that is hard to say and it has a brown braided belt and it is just a really cute dress I'm so excited to wear this for the springtime okay the next place I went to was Apricot Lane in our mall ba bam what is life I don't know it is this coat even though I haven't worn it yet because I just can't find a place to wear it I, I think it is so cute. It's so like runway chic. You know what I'm saying? Is that a thing? I don't know. I'm going to make it a thing. I picked up a pair of skinny jeans from American Eagle. They are just a light wash pair because I do not own a light wash pair of jeans. And I was on a mission to find a light wash pair of jeans. I got from TJ Maxx. For, is just this like purple kind of ethnic sort of shirt. Ethnic's not really what I'm looking for that word, but whatever. It has this really cool detailing right here and here. Okay, from Rue 21, it is this high-waisted tank top with like a very, very, very high neckline, and this is so 90s. I don't even know, but I, I, I love this. Back in the beginning of December, I went with my cousin to a mall for about 45 minutes is where she is going to school so we had 45 minutes to look around before we had to drive back because she was on break but we were at Rue 21 and another shirt for like two or three dollars and is this is really sheer uh, camisole sort of formal shirt that I wear a long sleeve underneath so from that same day at Rue 21 a three dollar skirt is this a high-waisted skater skirt with multi-coloring details on the waistband and the last thing from that day was just this a uh, black camisole with 
uh, crochet. It's like a Razorback. I, I love it personally. And from Ross was just this black and white striped scoop neck tee. Okay, let's move on to accessories. So the first accessories that I got, if you can't choose accessories, I'm going to. So hey, I got these imitation bands from Target from Famous Footwear that were on sale like a ton. These little brown and white lace ankle booties. I've been wanting a pair of brown and white lace ankle booties since about summertime. And here they are. Take a moment. Moment's over. Okay, the last two accessories that I happened to pick up were also, well, one was on sale, and one I've been wanting for F's. But this hat I got at um, Apricot Lane. It's this green and white floppy hat. Okay, the last accessory that I got, I have to speed this up, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, is this black floppy hat from Target. I need, I, I just have to buy this. Of course, then again, not wearing it right. But you will probably honestly see this in a lot of upcoming videos in March, which is in a week. That is it for accessories. Let's move on to some random stuff. Or I guess I can throw in, I don't know if you count perfume as accessories, but back when Bath & Butterworks had their semi-annual sale, I picked up two things. I picked up peach and honey and peach and honey almond fine fragrance mints, and this smells amazing and then i picked up maui hibiscus beach for also three dollars and those were my favorite scents i had to limit myself to like two items because i still have you feel me i hope so moving on okay we're gonna go into a little bit of room decor that i recently purchased um the first thing was just this little milk jar from target for so I put flowers in there. The flowers were from, I think the dollar store last year or something. But I put flowers in this little milk jar and I absolutely adore it. Um, and then from Target for a dollar, I got these little like jars. I've been looking for sort of tin cans like these. So yeah, and they were floral, like a floral water paint. Does it get any better? I don't think so. I bought was from TJ Maxx and it was $7.99 and it's just this little uh wall art sign and it just says wherever you go go with all of your heart with a map in the background and that is so so that, that just like moved me because i'm so into traveling and exploring the world right now that i was like oh my gosh it's like it read my mind now we're gonna go on to books and a movie the first book I uh, picked up was A Thousand Places to See Before You Die from TJ Maxx. And it has like a thousand places to read about and to see before you die. So like it's encouraging people I guess to travel. And I was so excited when I bought this because it kind of goes along with my wall art because it's like the traveling. Yeah, I'm so into traveling. And then I got this Kate Spade book for $15 because it's kind of broken at TJ Maxx, which is a great deal because it's normally like $30. And is this people to see, or places to go and people to see. And the pictures in here are phenomenal. Or the movie I got was Anna Hathaway, Ella Enchanted, because why not, right? Okay, now we're done with like that stuff. I'm just going to show you a few things I picked up at Walmart today after church because, you know, why not? Oh, the sun is bright. First thing I picked up were these Quaker Chocolate Crunch Rice Cakes. I actually personally do like rice cakes. I mean, obviously they're not a Rice Krispie treat, but they're still pretty good. Then I picked up, I've never tried this before, so this is like a little grocery haul. Oh, I'm pretty excited about this. I picked up some cinnamon swirl bread, and it looked to die for. Like, it looked phenomenal. And so, I just had to try it. Yeah, I'm going to have to eat a piece after this. And then my brother picked up some bagels. I decided to haul them too because I love bagels so much. And we picked up some Philadelphia strawberry cream cheese. And the, the last edible item I picked up, or not even kind of edible, I guess, was some Orbit Citrus Gum. Yes, please. Yes, please. And I picked up, onto like hygiene, I guess, some 
Mouthwash. Yeah, because I'm cool. And then the last thing, I picked up one of these little body scrub loofah things. And the last thing I picked up because they were on sale was just some flowers. Okay, so that is it for this haul. I've got to go now because I have to eat some toast and then practice piano because my grandma wants to come over and listen to me play the piano. I don't know why because I honestly don't think I'm very good. I have to go now and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Don't miss me too much. <laughs> Just kidding. You won't. That's okay. Oh, I gotta get up. Okay. Ah!